Are you wondering who's going to win the 2024 presidential election? Yeah, so am I. <laughs> I don't have that answer for you. But what I do have is the nine star key astrology reading for both these guys. And you're asking, what is nine star key astrology? Nine star key astrology is about telling you what the energetics are that you're facing this year. So let's say if you're going down a river and there's rapids coming up, knowing there's rapids coming up, you might make a decision to get someone to help you to navigate those rapids. You might decide to put on your life vest instead of just blindly going into it. So nine star key astrology really different from Western astrology that's predictive. Nine star key gives you an idea of the energetics and it gives you some feedback so that you can change your behaviors in order to get to where you're going. And here's the thing, everything in Chinese medicine is about energy, right? So you have heartburn. It's because your liver energy is overacting on your stomach energy, creating heartburn. Everything's about energy. But keeping in balance is not about just keeping in balance in yourself so you have this perfect health. Keeping in balance is also about keeping in balance in the world around you so that your life's a lot easier than, you know, than some other people who have a really hard life. So Nine Star Key Astrology helps you keep in balance with the world around you. So not bad, huh? It's about energy. And here's what I know about energy. It's a lot easier to go with the flow than against the flow. So if you think about it like a river and you're in a kayak, it's a lot easier to paddle downstream with the flow of the water than it is to try and paddle upstream. Now, both downstream and upstream will have gotchas, but let's be real. It's going to be super easy going downstream, whereas going upstream, you're just going to be guaranteed uh, that it's going to be more difficult, that you're going to run into more issues trying to get upstream. So, okay, so thinking about going upstream, that would be thinking about going against the energetics of the year. That would also be a year that's in contention with your energy. So in both those years, there's going to be a high probability that if you're trying to do something, if you're trying to be really active and get someplace, there's a high probability that you're not going to get there or that you're going to get there late. Okay, so let's jump into this. Let's look at the energy charts of these two guys. And you know what's weird is they are surprisingly similar. Now, Nine Star Key, it's about numbers. And so the numbers on both these guys are surprisingly similar. They have fire and wood in their numbers, nines and fours. So then the question is, okay, surprisingly similar. What makes these guys different? Well, two things. One is their year of birth, and the second is where these nines and fours are located. Okay, so let's talk about nines. Nines are fire. It's the ability to envision future and to walk forward boldly. And then let's talk about four, which is a wood number. What a great number to marry up with fire. Not only does it support your fire, but it also helps you implement your vision. Now let's talk about fours, because four is a wood number. Not only does it support your fire, but it also helps you implement your vision. So two really good numbers to have together. If these two guys are so similar, what makes it different? Well, the thing that's going to make it different is their year of birth and what number is their first number. And the first number is a personality number. It's the majority of your chart. So those are the two things that are going to differentiate how this year is going to play out for each of them. How about if we look at the ex-president Trump first? His birth date's June 14th, 1946. His numbers are fire, water, and wood. So his 
birth year is 1946. In 2024, which is a yin wood dragon year, his birth year sits in what they call the second house of the Bagwe. That second house, it's a very yin year. So for the ex-president Trump, this is going to be a very yin year. And what's the deal about yin years? Well, this is the most yin year you could get. And so it's about resting and rebuilding yourself. It's not a year for activity and movement or looking to self-actualize or looking for attention. This is a year to reflect on your past, reconsider your past actions and to make restitution for your past actions or to bring your past into balance so that you can move forward. If you're familiar with five element theory, this year is a very big water year and water is a winter year. It's, it's after fall. So in fall, you get to reap the benefits of everything that you've created in your life. And then you go into water into winter where you have to rebuild and you have to reassess and look at everything that's gone, gone in the past and get ready to move forward. Okay, so let's talk about that second house, Bagwe, which that's in contention with his core personality, which is that nine, that nine's a fire year. So you couldn't get a bigger opposition than fire and water, right? So if I look at that, one of the things that I think is that, you know, fire, it wants to lift up, it wants to burn bright, it wants to be seen. But it's in a water year. And in a water year, that year, it's just going to lay like this wet blanket on him. Each time he tries to lift off, the energetics of this year is just going to put that fire out. And then what's interesting is his tendency number, which is a four. Now that's how people see you. It's a wood number. It's a yin wood number. And the tendency number, his number four, is very similar to the year 2024, which is a wood dragon, which is a yin wood number. And that's going to be seen as very favorable. It's He's going to come off very good or he's going to be seen very positively. The thing is, is because the year is this yin year for him, this year of reflection, as long as he's doing what he's supposed to be doing, he'll be fine. But if he's not doing what he's supposed to be doing, then what's going to happen as, as time moves on, this is just going to kind of fall apart on him and it's going to start to, to fail. The image is going to start to fail. So in general for this year, it's not a year where he can uh, promote himself, where he can try and manifest his destiny. It's a year where he's supposed to reflect and rebalance for the coming year. How he's going to be seen in the media and through coverage will initially look fairly promising, but as the time rolls on, because the year is asking for, for him to rebalance, what might happen is that image is going to start to fail and fall apart. And, you know, I've talked about the 2024 wood dragon year and what it represents. And one of the things that it represents is supporting humanity. And here's the thing that comes to my mind is that if historic circumstances, if it appears that your actions have harmed other people, then this year is truly about making that right. And if he can focus on that, he's going to be able to sail through a lot of these core issues of restitution that he's been facing. But if he doesn't, this year, that wood dragon, it's also this year of rapid changes. So rapid changes in wealth, 
rapid changes in health. And one of the things that I know about the universe is it is incredibly indifferent to you. And so if you're not doing what you're supposed to be doing, it is incredibly indifferent and it will do whatever it needs to do to help you change your direction. So lastly comes the day of the election. Really, that's what we're all interested in. And what's interesting about that is that day puts the energetics of his life in the same yin house, that second bagwe, as the year is for him. So it's like this double whammy of yin. What about President Biden? Well, his numbers are 499. So wood and fire. And he's almost equally balanced between wood and fire, which that's unusual. The big difference between him and the ex-president Trump is their date of birth and his personality number. So his personality number is a four instead of a five. So it's a wood yin number instead of a fire number. And his date of birth changes the year for him to a metal year. And the metal year is the six Bagway. And so what's so interesting about the six Bagway is that it's a pure yang year. So one of the things when I was looking at these two charts, it was kind of weird is these two guys are like polar opposites and even their charts are polar opposites. So this year, couldn't get a more yin year for pre ex-president Trump. This year, couldn't get a more yang year for President Biden. And what does that mean for President Biden? Well, this year for him is about action and it's about manifesting his destiny. It's about manifesting what he's been trying to accomplish his whole life. And the energetics of the year support that. You know, and I was looking at this and his core personality is this yin wood four. Well, 2024 is a wood dragon, which is a yin wood year. Those two are like loving siblings. So, you know, like those families where the kids 100% support each other through thick and thin. That's pretty much what this year and his personality are doing really supportive. And then I thought, well, if you look at five element theory, you know, metal has a tendency to control the liver. And I thought, well, maybe that will temper the year for him. And it could, right? Except that it's such a pure young number. And so it's so much about action and it's such a positive number for him. And then you'd think that it could temper his wood number, except then he has these two nines and nines are fire and fire tempers metal. So even if metal tries to temper him this year, the fire is, is probably not going to let metal do that. Now, there's one thing that's interesting about the fire for President Biden this year. Guess what house that his fire is sitting in? Well, it's sitting in that second Bagwe, the same house where President Trump's personality is sitting. So for President Biden, what you're going to see is that for him, how people see him, how the media portrays him, uh, how his performance is during the debates, right? Because it's in that stagnating second house, how people see him, eh, it might kind of suck, right? But because the year is so much in support of helping him manifest his destiny, again, time's going to pass and what sucks, people are going to write off and he's going to gain more support from that. So kind of wild, huh? Now I said that both these guys have part of their chart sitting in that Bagwe number two house. And it's not that that number two house is a bad house, right? It's just a really yin house. 
And this yin house is about self-reflection and uh, rebalancing your past actions. It's about not moving forward. And it's that's just not the best house to have if you're running for president, right? But both these guys have it in their charts. What's the difference? Well, ex-president Trump has it sitting on his core personality, which is the majority of your chart and is really about you and what you're trying to accomplish in this world. That is where he has this second house sitting, the second house, which is asking him to reflect. Where is it sitting for President Biden? Well, it's sitting in this house that is how people see him. And that's asking him to reflect on how he presents himself and how he prepares himself and what he's saying. And one of those is more workable than the other, right? So one of them has a lot more flexibility than the other. And I think the one that has more flexibility is the one that is asking you to reflect on how you're presenting yourself versus the one that's asking you to reflect on your past life. So I don't know. It's, it's really, really interesting. I couldn't even imagine charts that are so polar opposite of each other. And it's going to be really interesting how this whole thing plays out. But that's how the high level energetics from the universe looks. And these are two different men with two different lessons and experiences that they are supposed to learn this year. So good luck to both of them. And I'm hoping that they can both find their river.